All right. So uh, for those of you guys that were here last year at this time, when I uh, sent off for a paternity test to be done to prove once and for all that Clemson is Ohio State's daddy. We got the results back right here on the Pigskin Pete YouTube channel, and I read them live on air. There was a 99.99% chance that Clemson was in st indeed Ohio State's daddy. But uh, just like I thought would happen, now that it is confirmed uh, daddy status, I have some child support uh, problems to take care of. So let's call the Ohio State or the state of Ohio child support office. Let's do it. State of Ohio Child Support, how may I help you? Oh, uh, yes, hello. I was calling in relation to a youngin that I may or may not have up there in the state of Ohio. May I have your name, sir? Yeah, my name is Pete Sweeney. That's Pete with three E's. P double E T E. Sweeney is S W I N N E Y. Are you a current resident of the state of Ohio? Oh, no, sir. I'm originally from Alabama. I've lived the past 20 years or so in this small town in the upstate of South Carolina. It's called Clemson. You might have heard of it. I see. Well, what can I do for you today? Well, I'm in a bit of a predicament uh, involving back child support uh, from a woman that lives up there in Franklin County in Columbus, Ohio, who contacted me on Facebook uh, about this time last year and claimed that I had a youngin with her. Uh, I guess the best thing for me to do is just go ahead and explain from the beginning. Uh, it'll, it'll all make a lot more sense. So it was about six years ago, a couple of buddies and myself, we, uh, we went on vacation for the weekend to Myrtle Beach. Are you familiar with Myrtle Beach, South Carolina? Yes, sir. I'm very familiar with Myrtle Beach. Yeah, well, that's good. A couple of my old high school buddies and I decided to go down there for the weekend. We spent the day fishing out on the water, drinking a couple of cold ones, you know what I mean? And then uh, that one night, we decided we we're going to uh, shower up and put on our best, you know, and go out to Senior Frogs. It's a fine establishment down there in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Anyway, uh, you know, the drinks were flowing, the margaritas were flowing there at Senior Frogs, and, uh, and apparently I, I had one too many. Uh, I met this uh, beautiful young lady at the bar. Uh, one thing led to another. We ended up in the bathroom at Senor Frogs. And, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you exactly what happened after that. I think you could probably use your imagination, though. But anyway, to make a long story short, uh, about a year ago, I get a message on Facebook. And uh, this woman that claims that she was the woman from Senor Frogs that night, and I barely had any recollection of it until she uh, told me in painstaking detail exactly what did go ha happen in that bathroom anyway she told me i had a youngin that i didn't know about and he was now five years old now i just flat out told her i didn't believe her because i didn't even believe that i was the first one to have my way with her that night if you know what i mean i could kind of tell uh, but there's really no way i could prove it so uh, i told her to send me one of them uh, paternity tests one of them home kits you know where you swab your cheek and you send it off to one of them scientific labs well, I did that uh, this time last year, and the, uh, sure enough, I got a letter in the mail about 30 days after I sent that test off, and it said, indeed, there was a 99.999% chance that I was this youngin's daddy. Well, that's a great story, sir. However, I'm still not clear on exactly what you want from us. Well, this is the child support office in Ohio, and uh, she's claiming to me that I owe her $18,000 in back child support when I didn't even know about this young until about a year ago. Not to mention, I don't even have $18,000 to give her, okay? I mean, I would have to sell my double wide and a couple of my heifers, and I can't afford to do that. Uh, th things are really, really tight financially for me right now. Again, sir, I'm not sure what you want from me. Well, I'm not really sure either. I mean, uh, this is the child support office. I have child support problems, so I figured I'd call you. I mean, I can't call the police. Uh, every time I call the police, I end up in handcuffs or something. Uh, I, I'm already on probation now. I can't afford to do that again. So I'm just in a predicament. Uh, can you at least look up the, the, the youngin's name and the woman's name in question and tell me if she's lying to me? Or do I really owe $18,000 in back child support? Okay, what's the mother of the child's name and the child in question's name? The mother's name is Karen Day, 
and the youngin in question, he's, he's a little urban. Uh, we named him Urban Day. Uh, she named him after Keith Urban, the country singer. You know who that is, don't you? Yeah, he, he's a good-looking fella. I, mean, I never met him before, but uh, a couple of weeks ago, she did put me on one of them iPhones, on, and we did FaceTime, and that's the first time I met the little fella. He's good-looking, too. He does kind of look like me. His eyes are crossed, which she says that'll fix itself eventually. I don't know if that's true or not. But, uh, you know, the way he looked at me with those crossed eyes, I, and I, you know, I, I felt an instant connection with him. Sir, stop wasting my time. Do not call back here again. You hear me? <laughs>